Hello! So I just got back from a pretty big food haul and I'm pretty excited because I got a lot of raw things and who doesn't need more raw fruits and vegetables in their lives and I thought it would be helpful for me to share with everybody the prices and how much I got it for and for those of you who don't know I'm living in Australia right now in Sydney or like close to Sydney and <clears throat> so like although the prices may be a little bit different I just thought it would still be something good to share because it is fairly similar to like prices in the United States and things like that so I'll just go ahead and get started so um, for anybody that has me on snapchat you might have saw like how excited I was that there was a banana sale because I have definitely been not getting enough fruit in my life here living in Australia. They have a section there uh, where all the imperfect things are and they have bananas there. They don't normally have bananas there and it said five for a dollar. So it's like, what? Like, oh my god. But there was none there. Um, there was like two like pretty ugly, like, you know, whatever ones. But I still got them because whatever, they're bananas and they're cheap. And so... <clears throat> And I was like, well, I need to get bananas. So I was gonna pay, you know, for the bigger ones. And then I was walking around the store more and I saw more like little ones, the ones that looked just like the ones that were up front. And I asked them one because they were called wanky bananas. I don't know, like, I guess they, the guy's like, oh, they're just imperfect. Um, and so I was like, do they taste any different? And then he was like, oh, you could try one. So I did. And then like I said, yeah, because those other ones at the front were five for a dollar. And <clears throat> I was like, are there any other location around the store, though, that they have them? And he didn't think so. But then another guy overheard, he's like, yeah, those, like, those are five for a dollar. But there was no sign there. So I was like, oh, my God. And this was, like, half an hour before the store was going to close. So definitely if there was a sign there, there might not have been any, but, like, my lucky day. So I basically was able to get as many as I wanted. There was, like, a full stack. So I'll just go ahead and show you this mountain of bananas that I got. And I don't think I've ever got in this many bananas at one time but that was quite a deal so five for a dollar so I got all of these bananas um they would have normally been forty two dollars twenty five dollars off came out to seventeen dollars <laughs> so that means even if me and Jim have five bananas a day in like a smoothie that'll last us for 17 days so but even if we don't have a smoothie every day this is like a month's worth of bananas for $17 and I know that the deal isn't gonna be that good everywhere but um at home they that bananas are pretty cheap and like should be utilized because I think most of them are grown in like South America so okay moving on <clears throat> So here's the avocados. Damn, it's like dark. But we got one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, like nine avocados for eight dollars. Actually, oh, it's okay. So there's eleven. So I was like, yeah, that wasn't that great of a deal. Those are also imperfect. Um, so avocados really good on toast, or you could do like avocado veggie bowls, like really good to make as a dressing on a salad. Um. And just put it with like lime juice and then there's your dressing okay sweet potatoes these were uh they had a deal so it was normally 250 64 cents off so one dollar 90 cents for these pretty big potatoes and we've been making a sweet potato like creamy soup which is really good and i'll like post a recipe in the comments to this video for anyone that wants to do that because that is really tasty all of these apples <laughs> so this place is just awesome um they like i said these are all like imperfect so they do have some bruises but like i don't know if anyone knows a place at home like around birchview burbank whatever where you can get imperfect produce for really cheap like let us know so all of these apples costed six dollars for all of these apples and if you go to purdue at the farmer's market, they have 50 cent apples there too. So that is definitely something to take advantage of. I eat like two to three apples a day with peanut butter though. I should like slow down on the peanut butter, but whatever, it's fine. So the mandarin oranges, we got all of these cost $6. They were $1.99 a kilogram. So this is passion fruit. I don't know if you guys have ever had it, but I can cut one open right now. They are so good 
Okay, so I don't think I've ever actually seen them at home, but I might just not be looking, but they taste so good, and there's so much, like, passion fruit flavored stuff here, and those are just amazing, so those were four for f five for four dollars, so like 80 cents each, so that won't be, like, something that I'll eat multiple of for a meal because they're a little more expensive, but, like, one a day is, I don't know, I just really like the, like, sourness and... Yeah, they taste really good. And these papayas, uh, and the three of them cost me $11, so that comes out to less than $4 each, which I know is cheaper than some people's everyday morning coffee. And this is real food, real sugar, that you can start off, eat the whole thing for breakfast, like Ellen Fisher does. She inspired me to get the papaya today. And yeah, then it'll, it's fuel, guys. All right. And then this is some discount fruit that we got. So four of these for $1.50. These are just like oranges. It says, thanks, you saved me. So, and then this is also like arugula, which I've heard is really awesome greens. It has a lot of like great green power. So, so these are each $1.50. And this is like a great deal, I think. Um, and these lettuce were $2, and what's really cool is they give you the root with it. So we just cut it off, just keep it in the fridge, and then we'll plant it, and it can regrow. Planting lettuce is like, and growing lettuce is super easy, and if you have a garden or space to grow something, like I definitely recommend that because then you'll be more inclined to eat it too. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and I just want to point out that I didn't have to use any plastic while shopping for this, um, except for, like, these. This is the only thing in plastic because it's already prepackaged like that. Oh, yeah, and, um, 95th Street Produce at home has produce that is, like, it's discounted. I know they have pomegranates there that, like, give you a really good deal on pomegranates, so take advantage of that. Um, it just sucks that it comes in the packaging. But, yeah, all of this no packaging it's all going to be composted um the store actually provides like mesh bags so they have the mesh bags and then when you go to the counter then they'll like just dump it out and then they'll keep that but like at home you can just get the plastic ones and reuse them so bring them back you know bring them home dump it out rinse it let it dry and then just put them like in your reusable grocery bags like that and like just use them you know repeatedly until they get like too gross and you need to throw them away or you can like order mesh ones online but yeah so just want to share with everybody so total it costed me like 75 dollars but like the bananas were 17 and then we got like jelly and peanut butter which was on sale but they didn't give me the sale price so like that may seem kind of steep for some people but let me just say that medical bills are way way more expensive and when you prioritize this kind of thing and then you have deals like that like that is something awesome to get excited about because you're getting excited about few food that you know like fuels you and is keeping you healthy and feeling really good so if you ask me, food is like an amazing thing to spend money on, and I have a really hard time like not spending a lot at the grocery store. So yeah, that's my shopping trip. So hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're feeling inspired, go to SavePoppy.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.